my friends, welcome back to Arms Only Gaming. You know, it's funny, again, I've played this game so many times and I still get a kick out of it. I was just doing a very casual run through the Forbidden Woods. Um, so this video might help you to just get some pickups that maybe you've missed in the, in the past and stuff. But there's nothing serious about this. I'm going to do a two-part series of this. So this is part one of my, my casual run through uh, the Forbidden Woods. I mean, a lot of different enemies. Always good practice. Always good practice. Before I start taking on Stanley there, I'm just going to go and light the lantern. But like I said, there's nothing serious about this. It's only a little guide for maybe new Bloodborne players to, you know, just come and explore and see what they're letting themselves into if they play this. So, but yeah, I've said this so many times. Classic game. Absolutely brilliant. It looks good. It still plays well, and uh, yeah, I can't wait for uh, to see what it looks like on the PS5. I don't have a PS5 yet, but uh, maybe someday, maybe someday. But yeah, like I said, I'm just running through here, admiring the artwork, and um, you know, just killing some enemies. Just gonna set up the trap. A lot of en enemies in this place. There's dogs. There's Stanleys. There's a lot of I don't know, can we call them citizens? But yeah, those guys with the long arms. There's a lot of them. What I do like about the Forbidden Woods is the look of it. It looks, it kind of looks like a nightmare out of Tim Burton's mind or something. It looks so, it, it, you just get this feeling that it's so edgy and stuff. Okay, well the dog is gonna come, uh, there he is. The poochie is gonna come bite me, I'm gonna just murder the thing. And the other one is basically burning himself to a crisp there. But yeah, be careful, you can walk into the fire. Okay, he didn't kill himself, but I'll take care of that. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm, I'm an animal lover, but these Poochies, they... I'm just going to draw these guys out. Take care of Mr. Surfboard here. You're not going to get far on that surfboard, but that thing is a bit broken. Now that guy's chucking oil urns at me. I, th <laughs> I remember the first time I played this game, I thought, why is he chucking shit at me? Because it looks like bol balls of, of poo, but I only found out later that it's actually uh, oil urns. Which kind of makes sense. If they chuck oil urns at you and there's all this fire around, you can, yeah, you can get burned. Cheers, my friends. Coffee, black coffee, and a smoke. Now, I love the, all the beast pellets, the, uh, the beast pellets you can pick up in this area. There's six over here behind Stanley. And there's another six, but we're, we're getting to that. Which I like using uh, this stuff. It really amps up your, your character as you're playing. I can't remember what level this character was on. It was quite low. I think 100, maybe 120, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I have so many different characters, so many different builds. I thought, yeah, well, I'm just going to have a good run through um, the Forbidden Woods. And be, be attacked by some farmers with some huge ass pitch, pitchforks. Okay, bugger up there. Okay, then we'll get the... Gonna go get my beast blood pellets. Stock up on it. You can buy beast blood pellets from the messengers in the hunter's dream, but I mean, if you can pick them up for free, why not? You know, that's... Everything is so dilapidated and broken down. Okay, Stanley is... Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Stanley. How about a visceral for your troubles? Take that. Mm. We'll rip your heart out. I only realize now this is one of my female characters. You better take it easy on the ladies over there, eh? Don't not eat the lady. Don't murder you. Plus, if you yeah notice that I'm doing this, this is a heartless run again, so I can't see my power bar, I can't see 
any power bars. So that's why I'm healing up that much because you never know how much damage your character has taken. It is always important when you come to this area just to talk to this guy in, to, in this uh, little um, oh. this little house to give you the what tonsil stone. And the tonsil stone you need to access um, the Nightmare Frontier and the Nightmare of Mensis. Plus, behind those cages, that's the way you take to you, the back door of your Sefkas clinic to go and pick up the KNS summons in order to access the KNS summons. I didn't do it in this one, but um, I'm just going to get rid of these poochies. Okay, and this was after I did the uh, the Bloodstaff Beast boss fight. So the Bagman appears and he can actually take you to Hypogen Ghoul, or you can go to the Bagman. Uh, next to the Cathedral Ward after the Bloodstar Beast fight. Well, I thought I got him there, but he's still kicking. He's still alive and kicking. Oh, some blood vials and stuff. There is actually a Beast Roar weapon in this little cabin. I already have it on this character, so I didn't even go for it. Plus, when I get past these guys, there's an I think you can pick up about 11 Molotov cocktails on the ledge there. Those consumables are nice. I mean, if you have, if, if it's there, just pick it up. Hmm. Billy Bob and his cousin is attacking me here. I just love the look of this game. I, I can't get enough of how good this game is for the size of the game. It's... From software did so good with this. Let's go get rid of this guy. Oh, got burned there. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Oh, here's my 11 Molotovs. I'm not going to kill these guys in the water. I'm just going to run past them. But I am going to go for Stanley because there's some blood vials that he drops, and I think that's actually a twin blood shard. On this character, I still need to upgrade some weapons, so I'm picking up this shard. Plus, you know, always open up your shortcuts if you plan to come back to this place and you need some quick access. I'm just going to open up the, this little shortcut over here. In both of these parts that I'm going to do, uh, that I'm doing, is I'm going to open up all the shortcuts just to show new, new Bloodborne players where to find the shortcuts. Okay, there's usually a guy with a gun on the roof there, but I was going straight for the guy with the cannon. You can actually, if you run past this cannon fast enough, the guy with the cannon will take out the enemies running up behind you. But uh, always be careful, that could be a one-shot. You can die from that cannon blast. Okay, so I'm just going to go for the, the beast blood pellets in this little hut. There's another Stanley over here. Okay. I think at this point my inventory was already full. So I couldn't pick up every single thing, every single, uh, yeah. Okay, well, it's good to know. And then I'm going to head over to where Master Walter is standing. If you play the game for the first time and you meet Master Walter, talk to him, join the league, and he can actually give you some assistance in the game um, at boss fights. Plus the young Madaras twin, you can summon him. And the very important thing you need to remember is when you talk to Master Walter, exhaust the, the conversation and um, pick up the impurity rune from him. You need to equip that in order for those two guys to come and help you in different stages of the game. I know Master Walter helps you in the DLC with Ludwig. Uh, I think he also helps you with Lawrence, if I'm not mistaken. So you're just going to open up this shortcut because this little building is right next to where the lantern is. But I will see you in part two, my friends, because this is only part one. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in part two. Cheers, my friends. Ah, a new face, I. Eh? Oh, Memblites. What do you. Yes. Oh.